Welcome to your daily writing habit, episode number 199. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or perhaps you've started writing a book and you're having some trouble finishing it, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., I-N-K, christine-inc.com. Each day I am sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on an author's success, and they are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Now, the live version of this episode is airing on a Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. So rather than giving you a set of tips about writing your book, what we do every Sunday is we kick back a little bit and I read you a story. That's why we call it Sunday Story Time. And this week, this is a story that I actually wrote recently, a short story. I do love the fiction writing, as many of you know, whether it's screenwriting or short stories or novels. I do love the fiction writing. So I'm going to be reading the first half of the story this week. So hopefully you'll tune in next week for Sunday story time to hear the conclusion. But this is a story with a message that I think and hope that many of you find to be valuable. The story is called Make a Wish. Make a Wish. A semicircle of Lena's friends closed in, phones at the ready, waiting for her to blow out the flaming inferno of 40 tiny candles. She was briefly distracted by a flash of movement on the living room television, a woman running in the Boston Marathon earlier that day. Lena lowered her eyes, closed them, tried to erase the image of the marathon runner from her mind, and blew out the inferno in one long breath. It seemed like only minutes after the smoke cleared that Lena was in her car headed home from the party thrown for her by her friends. Forty, she whispered in disbelief. She accelerated into the blackness, eager to get home and in bed as quickly as possible to forget this day. She vowed never to tell a single soul what she had just wished for. Damn her. Lena silently cursed the marathon runner. She wanted to be her, but now she was forty. A whole new decade, and she still hadn't done a damn thing about her dream. Sure, she'd run track in high school, even won a couple state titles, but as the youngest in a working-class family of six, there simply weren't enough resources to pursue anything further. So she was a good girl, kept quiet about her passion, studied and worked hard, and saved enough money to go to college. Lena gripped the steering wheel tightly to fight back the tears that threatened to break through. All those mornings before classes, her sneakers slapping musically against the moist, cool, pre-dawn pavement. She was tempted to try out for the university track team, but with her work and class schedule, there simply wasn't enough time. So she pushed back her passion again and again. When she graduated and started her career, there was even less, quote-unquote, free time. The possibility of ever pursuing her passion slowly slipped away. Those morning runs eventually became a source of heartbreak rather than joy, so she quit. 40. Lena navigated through the darkness, the interior of the car occasionally illuminated from overhead by a passing streetlight. It had been about two decades since she'd last laced up her running shoes. She tried to shake those sticky thoughts off her brain using logic and reason. Dreams. Dreams are just that. She'd never had the luxury of pursuing hers and probably never would. To make herself feel better, she mentally ticked off all the good things she had in her life as reassurance. The thing she was grateful for circled the gaping hole of the one thing she had denied herself, like sideshow spectators. But as much as she tried to push them away, her thoughts of what if returned, worn on the back of the marathon runner like a jersey. Why her and not me? She pounded the steering wheel in frustration while full well knowing the truth. The woman on TV, unlike her, had refused to let anything get in the way of her dreams. She slowed to a stop at a four-way and contemplated her options. She felt an invisible weight pressing down on her shoulders that made it hard to breathe. That was the last thing Lena remembered from that night. So be sure and come back next week for next week's Sunday story time. Let me check the calendar real fast here. We will be in November at that point. So, Sorry, I don't know the actual date here, but today is Sunday, October 27th. Come back a week from today for the conclusion to see what happens to Lena and her dream of becoming a runner. Thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit where I'm helping you write and finish writing a book. 
And if you know someone else who wants to write a book, please let them know about your daily writing habit on Amazon Alexa, iTunes, Google Play, TuneIn, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, all the podcast places. Thank you. And until next time, happy writing.